Okay, so moving on to the next question. How do you show your significant other love? You got to speak their love language. You have to speak their love language. Um, there are times that you may do something out of love towards the person and they don't receive it as a love a gesture because that's not their love language. Um, I don't know if you all have heard of Dr. Gary Chapman. He spoke of five love languages. There are times that when, um, the, I think one of them is uh, words of affirmation, showing you know appreciation, or giving words of appreciation of love. That's a love language. Gifts. You know, my husband could buy me a gift, and I don't really take it for much of anything because that's not my love language. Uh, acts of service is another one. Uh, quality time. What's the last one? Honey? Touch. Okay, so it is words of affirmation, gifts, quality time, uh, touch, and acts of service. So you have to speak their love language. How do you know their love language? Listen to what they complain about. If they complain that you never spend time with me, then time, quality time, is their love language. If they always complain, oh, you never buy me anything. Yes. Oh, you never do anything for me. It's acts of service. Okay. Uh, I mean, you never show me any affection. So, you know, that's touch. You just be like, oh, you always talking down to me. You listen to what they complain about. And that's how you learn. What is their love language? And then you use it to show them love. And then I think number one, be kind and love. Loving the person, knowing how you know certain things will hurt them and don't do it. Just be kind and loving and considerate of one another. I think that's one way to show love and appreciation.